Hello everyone, thank you for watching Test 2 Plus today. I am Trace, and we take big science topics in this show. We break them down over a whole week, and this week we're talking about humans. Humans from the beginning all the way to now, all the way to who knows when. And today we are talking about the Utsi Iceman. This guy is one of my favorite humans. He's also been dead for a long time, but he's pretty cool. The Utsi Iceman was actually found in the Italian Alps. Science like this just gets me so excited, so hopefully I don't yell at you too much. A lot of our knowledge of ancient modern humans comes from the finding of the Utsi Iceman. In 1991, some hikers were walking through the Italian Alps, and they looked over, and by a rock, they saw this human body. They actually thought that it was a hiker who had hurt themselves or had died at some point throughout the last winter because they looked like it had been there a while. Turns out it had been there 5,300 years. This was an ancient human, and scientists were able to find him, get him into a cold storage system, and he's been preserved from when we found him. And because of the climate of the Italian Alps, they were able to see so much. He has his skin. He has the stuff he was carrying with him. You can see tattoos on his body. He has 61 tattoos uh, at current count number, uh, using them for both medicinal properties and all sorts of other stuff. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is so cool. Okay, so he was found in 1991. He'd been there 5,300 years. He died at the age of 45. We know this by looking at his forensics. He died in what is perhaps the greatest murder mystery story in all of science? Yeah. So a little bit about Utsi the Iceman. He was five foot three, about 1.6 meters. He weighed 110 pounds or about 50 kilograms. He had brown eyes. He had brown hair. He was lactose intolerant, which if you saw yesterday's episode, isn't a surprise. He had a genetic predisposition for an increased risk for coronary heart disease. Essentially, he had arteriosclerosis. His arteries were hardening, which was an amazing discovery at the time because they were like, oh, the Western diet isn't the only thing that causes heart disease. And in fact, this ancient human had it, which maybe means that we're genetically predisposed to it regardless. He probably had Lyme disease. He had gallstones. He had cavities. He had gum disease because he was eating a carbohydrate-rich diet, and it was messing with his teeth. Hunter-gatherers were dependent on meat and berries, but agriculturalists like Utsi they were eating more grains and probably more, more meats. So knowing all of this, we probably know that Utsi was a fairly well-to-do guy. He was carrying with him a copper ax, which is a status symbol in his culture. And he probably herded sheep and cows and goats, which is way more progressive than a hunter-gatherer culture. And he was carrying with him a bow and arrow. So now that you know who he is, here's what happened. Let's count down the last 48 hours of the Utsi Iceman's death, okay? 48 hours before the Utsi Iceman died, he got in a fight. He was a 45-year-old guy. He had a bunch of stuff with him. He got into hand-to-hand -hand combat with somebody. They don't know who, they don't know how, but his hand was sliced with some kind of knife. Now, this is the Stone Age, early Metal Age. He had some metal working on him, but this was before they had super fancy knives, but they did have them, so his hand was sliced. He shot two men with the same arrow like a boss, recovered the arrow from the first guy, grabbed it, shot the second guy, because they know he has a bow and arrow on him, and they did blood analysis of the arrowhead, and it had the blood of two different people on it. I mean, he's like freaking Legolas or Hawkeye or something. Crazy. He ended up escaping from his attackers. He was likely uh, attacked down the mountain a little bit and headed up the mountain to where he was found. I mean, we know where this story ends, so I don't feel like I'm giving away spoilers. 30 hours before his death, he was able to get some food into his body. He, uh, the anthropologists who found him and the scientists who've been studying him looked into his stomach and found that his last meal was a fatty meal of wild goat. Sounds kind of yummy, but he didn't clean it very well because there was goat fur also in there, uh, which is too bad. He also had unleavened bread and sloes, which is the fruit of the blackthorn. I've never had that. I don't know if it's good or not. He wasn't feeling very well. They know this because they found some hop hornbeam in his stomach, so he was probably nauseated or had indigestion, maybe because he ate goat fur. I don't know. Either way, this was an ancient medicine that was very common at the time and is still used in some herbal medicines, and he had that in his stomach, so he probably wasn't feeling very well. We have such a good idea. Let me pause for a minute. 
Such a good idea about this man because he was so well-preserved. It's incredible how much you can learn from just one guy. And we're not even all the way done. He's sitting eating his food, and he was ambushed, probably by the same attackers. At first, they thought that he died from an arrow because x-rays of this mummy's back, uh, the Utsi Iceman, found an arrowhead lodged in the back of his shoulder. He was shot in the back while eating his dinner. It was a stone arrowhead, and it fatally severed his subclavian artery. He would have bled to death, but that's not how he died. They knew this because they found that arrowhead inside of his body. He also had on him a knife from a third person, so he was able to defend himself pretty well prior to that. And again, remember, he shot two dudes with the same arrow, so he's a pretty cool guy. And then they found a fourth individual's blood on the Iceman's goatskin coat that he was wearing at the time. Apparently, at the time of his death, he was trying to fashion something out of the shaft of an arrow that had been broken. He stacked his stuff, he put his bow against the tree, and he ate his dinner before he was ambushed and shot in the back. Again, that arrow could have killed him, except they think that a brain injury actually did. They found bruising on his brain and a crack in his skull, and they found clotting that was probably due to a violent blow to the head but they don't know whether it was from a rock that someone hit him with or from a fight that he got into or just because after he was shot with the arrow, he fell over and hit his head on a rock and died. They don't know. But this is, again, super exciting murder mystery of this guy who is an ancient human. Regardless, he's dead. <laughs> but we've learned so much about ancient humans from this guy, just from this one sample. And We've learned so much about them that scientists continually study him, continually learn more. They are learning more about the ancient man from just a few thousand years ago right now. And people love him so much, including myself. Brad Pitt, for example, if you ever see pictures of him, right here on his forearm, uh, on his right forearm, he has a tattoo of what looks like a dude doing this. That's how they found Utsi. He's got his arm across his chest. He was laying on his back. That's how freaking cool this guy is. Brad Pitt has a tattoo of this guy. We know a lot about my pal Utsi, but we're gonna keep learning more. And it's pretty awesome. So we've been talking about humans all week, so click here to see the last episode. And if you wanna see tomorrow's episode, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna talk about where humans are going to be in the future. Thanks for watching Test 2 Plus. We'll see you tomorrow.